What is happening guys? Cowboy here, and let's continue. An inspection. They won't inspect everyone. Just act natural. Yeah, our funny hats don't stand out at all. Your face is all stiff. I know. You, in the black coat. Show me your documentation. Uh, um... Well? Your travel permit from the Abbey? Where is it? <laughs> Foolish girl, how many times have I told you? A magician's apprentice must wear a pleasant grin. Magician? Verily! Present to you the traveling troupe of mischievous misfits known across the land as Muggy Lou's Menagerie. Entertainment for the ceremony? Why, yes, indeed we are, my dear. Please pardon my uncouth apprentice. Girl, allay the good man's fears and show him the dove trick you've spent all these weeks on. Go to! Huh? Oh. Uh, sorry, mistress. I forgot to prepare. Y y you pathetic little shirker! A proper performer is perpetually prepared! It's fine. Doves flying around would be a nuisance. No, this will not do. If you cannot summon a dove, then act like one! Act like a dove! <laughs> cool, cool. <laughs> Remember, Muggy Lou's Menagerie manufactures mirth. That was just a small sample for the good citizenry of Logris. Hey, you can't advertise here. Move along. As you say. Magalu saved her ass. <laughs> that was a fine ploy, Magalu. Well, don't expect tricks like that every day. Cuckoo. <laughs> oh, that murderous gaze! Cuckoo! Those doves were amazing. Just a crude trick. If anything, it just shows the capital's defenses are pathetic. More like it shows how much confidence they have in those defenses. How many soldiers are here, Lafayette? The number of exorcists in the capital? At least a thousand. And two divisions of guards. I'd expect no less from the capital. They're not careless. They're covered. We need transit documents. See how the citizens smile? To think they were fleeing from demons just a few years ago. To hold an observance of this scale shows just how much peace their power has brought. A peace paid for with Luffy's. Velvet? Alright, um, now I want to take this off. How do I remove? Remove. What else do I got? Um, wait, one, two. Oh, the eye patch. I'm not using the eye patch. I mean, you're a pirate. Might as well put it on you. And expedition. So. Hey, perfect. We got some this tuna. This recipe looks real tasty. That does look tasty. Scout I mean, ship setting sail. I mean, considering there's nowhere else for me to explore, I suppose we will explore there. And Logris, Jewel of the Empire. Camps.
800 gold, and that's why it pays to explore. every nook and cranny. You see lots of cats lying around. Those... That... Go that way in a bit. Let's over here for now. Lavender. Hidden art damage. Get that for her. Calcite Garment. Absorb HP, reduce dagger, recovers 25% of the damage you take, and 1.1 BG James from Bright Soul. Damn! A lot of good shit. Let's see what we got up top. How much do you cost? 95! Sweet Jesus. Some expensive cat's chests. I'm tempted to, like, pull up a guide for the cat's chest. Because I feel like it's not random. I feel like there's very specific chests that have loot. And ones that don't have loot. And considering how much these fuckers are starting to cost. It's not exactly... Something I'm happy paying for. Aphrodite Sash, Art Defense. Defense goes up, I lose a little bit of HP. Soul power will go up by 10%. And recovery. HP recovery on attack and stun foes. Ooh. This gives me focus. And XP. Ooh, this one is attack and... I think we'd want that belt. Magic by quite a bit, though. Whereas these ones don't at all. Well, 214 to 197. I'm gaining a big chunk of defense, though. And a little bit of magic. Magic defense. Uh, 1, 2, 3, so 17. Mm. From a defense perspective. Break soul power is the same. I'll have HP recovery plus 40, which in fight could be really useful. But I'm getting less break soul, less attack, less capability for stem humans. Uh, let's go for it. I think that's going to be worth it. If I just... Who else could wear belts? I don't know she was the only one who could wear belts. Remember garment. Alright. Now to enhance. One calcite fragment. There you go, buddy. For your sash. Damn it. Don't have the HP recovery yet. That's all I'm not. That's all I'm not. Look at them all. There's a 
ton of freaking guards. Right. Good to head this way. Sure they will, dear. People are saying it's going to be a very important announcement about the Abbey. I want to see the Exorcists! We need to thank them for saving us from the demons! You're right. We all have to show them our gratitude and help them however we can. Yeah! I'll follow the rules, too. I won't be selfish. They sure are popular. Because these people don't know the truth. You think that's so? That the Exorcists are fighting the demons they themselves cannot. That's why the people support the Exorcists. I mean, <clears throat> as fucked up as it is, even if these people knew that Lava Set's life was sacrificed, I think most people would say, you know, the sacrifice of one child to protect the world as a whole. Like, it's kind of a necessary sacrifice in a sense. Listen to those cheers. The royals sure have these folks in line. Subjects! May I have your attention? It is I, Percival Asgard, Crown Prince of the Midgand Empire. His Majesty, my father, and I are pleased to celebrate with you on this auspicious day. The ceremony started. It will be impossible to slip in now. After the opening ten years ago, our kingdom faced an existential threat, both from demons and the terrible spread of demon blight. However, one man raised a miraculous sword and stood so that the body and soul of the land Over there. would not be lost. You can climb up if you want, but attacking now would and be suicide. And the name of that man was Artorius <laughs> Colbrand. Artorius! Artorius! Velvet is wasting no time. None here, I trust, are unfamiliar with Artorius's noble act. To bring us salvation from demons, he sacrificed everything. But he's a murderer. He called Lord Inominat, one of the five Imperians, and blessed us with the strength of the Malachi. But he's a murderer! He serves as a shining beacon of reason in this world of turmoil. And reason is what binds us. But you killed him. You took everything that I loved. So raise your voices in praise to Artorius's devoted work. To the savior who purifies evil and guides our flock. Let us call him our Shepherd! Shepherd Artorius! Shepherd Artorius! Shepherd Artorius! Shepherd Artorius! Shepherd Artorius! Shepherd Artorius! Even though the world was filled with suffering, I had to ask something tremendous of you all. I entrusted you to endure the pains of reason. I asked you to bind yourselves with shackles of your own will. For the only blade that can expel calamity is one forged from unshaking reason and the iron will to do what must be done. And now that very blade stands ready 
before all of us today. I offer my body and my life in service to the people of this great land. With the blessings of the Empyrean Innominat, I will guide you to a world without calamity. And this world's suffering will be nothing but a distant memory! But you're the one who murdered. Fool, they'll see us. You're the one who killed Luffy said. What? The Shepherd Artorius. That's who you're after? Oh, and here I was hoping you'd just straight up pounce on him. That would be certain death. No, I need a sword of reason and will. That's the only thing that can kill him. Killing Lord Artorius. Playing it safe? Boring! Regrettably, it is at this juncture we go our separate ways. I've got a bit of hunting to do. No one's stopping you. Goodbye. Farewell! May your days be fruitful and your nights tormented! If our enemy's calling himself a shepherd, he won't be going into hiding. Let's take this slowly. The old man behind him. Melchior, I take it? Yeah. Let's gather information on these people. If we know what they're planning, we can find a weakness. They're the most powerful men in the land. If we're going to look into them, we need a lead first. Aizen, do you have any underworld contacts in the capital itself? Like your friend at the port? I don't go inland much, I'm afraid. But Eifried has close ties to a shadow guild. A tavern in the city, run by an old man called Baskerville, serves as a front for them. A shadow guild? Those sorts of things actually exist? Ugh. That settles it. Let's head to that tavern. They'll have food, I'm sure. Why not? My stomach made a weird noise. That's another sign that you're alive. Exorcists sure were out in full force to see the Shepherd's inauguration, weren't they? What about that guy you're after? Was he there? What, and have to stand around looking all proper? Now nah, that's not his style. Then I thought he was one of the top exorcists. That wouldn't matter to him. Huh. All right. Actually, Velvet, speaking of the Shepherd, I noticed he wasn't using his right arm. Was he hurt or something? Yeah. He was badly wounded a long time ago. He lost the use of his sword arm. That's what I figured. But don't get the wrong idea. He's still a master swordsman with his left arm. I can tell that from the way he moves. His movements are steady and measured, and his chi is centered below his navel. Huh? Why does that matter? Some people say that all the body's spiritual energy gathers in a place about two finger widths below the navel. Even when he appears to be in a state of total peace, his guard is never down. He's a formidable adversary. <laughs> and I think I know why my target has placed himself at Artorius's side. Because now I want to take Artorius down too. So yeah, I was looking at uh, the DLC for this game. Just like see what outfits there were and shit. And there's actually like four different free DLCs that are just um, items you can get, like, you know, healing items and shit to bring along, so I'm gonna have to snatch all those up. What is this? Is this the sh well, 
This is the tavern. Shepard, oh, fuck up, Victorious, but now that the danger after seeing that, of I hate course, that you can't like have... skip these. I like accidentally walk into it. And it's like, oh, you listening now, boy? You're gonna listen to this whole thing. That's, is that where I came in from? I came in from up top. Uh, this is going up towards the castle. I don't think I've explored this yet. Certainly can't hurt, considering I need 93 fucking cats to open that chest. So I definitely am going to do that, I think. Just pull up a list of what cat's chests to get, because... I mean, hopefully it's not a cumulative system, like, oh, you know, after you have to open up three different cat's chests before one's going to have an item or something, because a lot of the ones I'm seeing are... They just, they, they, you know, 93 gems, 70 gems, and then I don't even get an item out of it. That is one impressive cathedral. It fits the capital. Yes. It's incredible. Hmm. It's as I heard. It wasn't built using Moloch arts, but the latest architectural engineering techniques. Look at those arches, the mathematical logic, the structural ornamentation. This is an architectural marvel. So, is that Empyrean in there? I highly doubt it. Empyrean worship has become mostly symbolic over the years. This cathedral wasn't built as a place of worship. It's commemorative to celebrate the continent's unification. In other words, a show of power. That explains why they spared no expense. It's too early to be impressed. This is just the entrance, and it's unfinished. They're constructing a colossal temple inside here. They say it'll take centuries to complete. Centuries? That's insane. How could they think that's a good idea? Your guess is as good as mine. I suppose that sometimes, humans just have a need to push their limits. Yeah, seriously. The Reaper and a demon are shaking their heads at this overwrought monstrosity. Intrinsic worth, zero. I wonder what it'll look like when it's finished. Hundreds of centuries to complete? Get the fuck out of here. Before we go to the Thieves Guild and jump too much into it, we'll wrap this one up here. I want to go to the title screen and snatch up some DLC. So we'll close this one out, but rest assured we will catch you guys a little bit later today with another part.